Good morning, family, and welcome to Morning Heart Devotion with Dr. Chung Shik Yong and our Heavenly Parents Holy Community. Let's begin by greeting our Heavenly Parent and True Parents. Chunjian Champumonimke Kyongbe Baro. Now for our family pledge, Kajong Mengse, Il, Chaneo Guk Juin, Uri Kajongan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Ponyang Tangal Chaja, Ponyone Changjo Yi Sangin, Chisang Changukwa, Chan Sang Changugal, Changon Halkosul Mengse Hanaida. E. Chaneo Guk Juin, Uri Kajongan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Hanel Pumunim Gua, Cham Pumonimul Moshio. 천주의 대표적 가정이 되며 중심적 가정이 되어 가정에서는 효자, 국가에서는 중심, 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 천여국 주인 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 황족권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 천여국 주인 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 창조 이상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 5. 천여국 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 천상 세계와 대상적 지상 세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 6. 천여국 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천운을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 천여국 주인 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 본연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 자녀국 주인 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 자녀국 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체 이상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. To open us up with prayer this morning, I'd like to invite up Reverend George Russell. Okay, good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me well. Morning, Dr. Young, brothers and sisters. Uh, let's pray, please. <laughs> Our dearest and uh, beloved Heavenly Parent, we thank you for a, a fresh new day that has dawned upon the world and indeed upon the whole um, cosmos. We know that um, you are looking forward to this day <clears throat> to be with your holy sons and daughters and for the first time in human history you have two parents here and through them, we are able to become holy sons and daughters, to tumble the treasures of your heart. And for us, it is a great time of rejoicing, of celebration throughout all heaven and earth, the entire angelic world. Those who are under you are rejoicing and praising and glorifying you for this day. Just as we saw in the book of Revelation, chapter one, seven, whole heaven around you, all rejoicing for this moment of time in the marriage of the Lamb. Now we have gone 
beyond that point. And we have our beloved True Father who did all that he could to accomplish his portion here on this earth and has transcended and is in your bosom. But we know he's not sitting around and resting, but he's intensely every moment going through with the speed of love throughout the heavenly spiritual world, really trying to absolutely straighten out everything, getting everything in harmony. At the same time, he's working with our beloved true mother here on this earth. And so we are not lacking in that sense in any way. We too can have hope, find a bond of heart, of unity together centering upon Dr. Young and our beloved true mother, this elder son nation of America can now find hope. All we need, all we need, we need a multiplication of our blessed families throughout this elder son nation to lead and to guide the way of this nation. That this nation can indeed give hope to the world and stand up and take responsibility it can reach out to protect, to care for, to attend, to serve, to love all sibling nations of the world and especially the parent nation of Japan and Korea, the peaceful reunification of Korea. Absolutely, we will stay the course with our true mother. We know that you're truly after the heavenly unified world. Our hearts really long for a heavenly unified world. Even the fallen people still who are being stubborn deep in their hearts of eternity. They long for such a world. They long for true and lasting world peace. They long for a time where you can spend joyfully and happily with their families and love each other. That is in our original sensing, because that was placed there by you. Spirit, I'm a longing heart in everyone. They yearn for such an ideal of such harmony, such love. And so we thank you, a heavenly parent. At this time, we can feel that this is coming along. We need Christianity. We need a whole body of Christianity. And we still have brothers and sisters working so hard, investing to reach um, the clergy right across the board, not only Christians, but all others. Christianity is the central heart and the key. If they can respond. That would be so great. Mm -hmm. So we pray continued support, Heavenly Parent. We will never give up. Absolutely resolve and determine to conquer. Mm -hmm. Paint that camp of Christianity. There are elder brothers. We have to love and serve as Jacob loved and serve Esau. So please strengthen and guide us that we will absolutely never give in. And that brothers and sisters can persevere in the midst of hardship. We have the individual course, we have the course of the couple and the course of our family. And so we want to have a bigger dimension of understanding of who we are. And at this precious moment that we can deliver. We also are praying for the young people across this nation, the college and university campuses. We thank you for those students whom you have prepared and are coming forward. You guide me to meet several students, but one key in particular that was prepared in our heart to say, yes, I will work with you to build up heart here. And she came forth and she signed a membership form and committed herself. And so we appreciate even small breakthroughs. It's really the base, the heart for bigger breakthroughs that's coming. And Dr. Young really giving us a national condition to attend morning devotion, to read one hour lecture 100 times, have a burning heart and a spirit to find three spiritual children. A bonding heart with him, and surely indeed it will happen. We will see the tipping yes. point, a critical mass of blessed families as we continue our marriage blessings. Yes. We will indeed impact the culture and turn things around. And then we will look at you face to face to see you smile. Hmm. That is enough for all of us just to see you smile. All right, everyone. I'll see you smart. Thank you so much. As we keep going for this day, I want to report all to you in all of our names here. And my wife right here, George and Chumi Russell, 
the central Chombo couple and family. Aju. Aju, thank you, Georgie Russell, for your opening prayer. So I'm so glad to see your wife today. Wow. So, yeah, that's good. And what's your wife's name? Unmute, unmute. Okay. Oh, what, what's your wife's name? Uh, her name is Chiomi. C H I. Okay, Chiomi. Y O M I. Chiomi. Okay, Chiomi. Okay. Uh, Chiomi -san, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Reverend Russell. We're in Washington, D.C. right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that makes the difference, Dr. Young. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for your prayer. Brothers and sisters, let's go into our breakout, share our appreciations with one another, and come back soon.
back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your breakout. To share first, I'd like to invite up the Hamasaka couple, Hamasaka family. Ami, please. Hisanori and Mihoko. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Good morning. Um, I am very grateful uh, for a clean water mm. because I, I once I saw the Nepali girl a long time ago, and then I really shed the tears because, because she had to take care of all her family, except for her. Everybody is sick because of dirty water. Mm. So to get the water from far places, she every day commute with big bucket. So I am very grateful for that. And also, uh, we now we live very far away from a New Jersey church. And I can we can hardly go to attend the Sunday service. Uh, even maybe only once a uh, once, uh, month is the best. best, best. So um, I we are moving to a little different city near church. So I am very, very grateful for that to every parent. Thank you. Do you, to, do you to Clifton Church? We want to move to Fort Lee because we live so far away and then we have no car. So, okay. so we couldn't right. attend the Sunday service. Okay. All right. Then Hisanori-san. Oh, I am very grateful to join this devotion uh, since the you know, uh, two years ago, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I am a little bit, you know, uh, very, uh, how do they say, uh, uh, to, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm very grateful to enjoy this devotion every day. Mm -hmm. So I I am very grateful to know the, about the United States station because uh, she is now going to achieve the what to restore the one nation. The, this purpose, uh, I and uh, Mr. Young Church Hejanu told me very clearly. So I'm very grateful to be to to join this devotion every morning. Thank you so much. Wow! Thank you so much, Hisanori San and Miyoko San. I hope. You go or go to church very often to attend Sunday service. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can. Go. I a couple. <laughs> yeah. We can get the bus to church. <laughs> yeah. I hope someday I want to see your couple at Clifton Church as well. Yes, yes. Okay, Hamasaka-san couple, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hamasaka family, to share next, let me invite up Mr. Chris Bihari. I know your connection is not great, but we are going to. Okay, I hope this is a little bit better. Uh, I'm grateful every day we can come to attend all nationwide in a devotion of the heart and family. Uh, I love Christian so I have me 50 koi, a little over 50 koi, which represents each state. So pray for every state. I have uh, the heart and their prayer every morning. Look forward to uh, seeing me serve. And uh, also, uh, I love Asian so much. Many of you always are uh, sharing my bird. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> before my past spiritual. We sent out over 104 through the local pet shop all over America. So we are ever. So I have real feeling the earth, the air, the sea uh, to express love for this nation to fulfill uh, Mother's Desire. So thank you so much, Dr. Kong, every morning. Uh, okay. Listening, we, we are here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris Pihari, and you.
you know, you name that Chris and Joshua Young. What does Young means? <laughs> I could not hear you. Okay, thank you, Steve. Miran. Okay. Uh, Young yeah. and Josh, my sons. <laughs> I see. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Chris. Yeah, we really feel you're one with creation and really preparing well. And with that, brothers and sisters, let's open up our hearts and minds and receive Dr. Young this morning through our morning heart devotion. 안녕하세요. Good morning. Good morning. My dear brothers and sisters, clergy and members of peace, 안녕하십니까? Today, I'd like to talk about a life as owners of Chan Ilgu from True Mother's Anthology, Book One. <coughs> Let's just study. Life as owners of Chanukuk. You can now see the path we are walking most clearly. You need to know what a great blessing it is for you to live and carry out your responsibility here. Therefore, you should live each and every day with gratitude. You have more things to be grateful about. I began the story of the Swiss soldiers. When the French Revolution broke out in the 18th century, Louis the 16th of France asked Switzerland to send soldiers to guard him because he could not trust his own people. At the time, Switzerland was a poor country because it was situated in the mountains. Most men from mountainous regions are strong. Swiss soldiers thus came to guard the palace of the French king. They fulfilled their responsibility to the end, and not one of them deserted their post. They became famous for doing so at that time. The money they earned while doing this helped Switzerland to become the wealthy and powerful nation it is today. The people guarding the Vatican today are also Swiss guards. This is a historical fact. After 6,000 years, the history of Chanoguk, which can make God's dreams come true, is now unfolding and developing in front of us, thanks to true parents. You are key people attending true parents in this era of Chanoguk. No matter what environment you may be in, you need to move forward with an indomitable spirit. Yes. True Mother said that you need to know that a great blessing it is for you to live while attending her and carry out your responsibilities here. She said you should live each and every day with, with gratitude. When the French Revolution broke out in the 18th century, Swiss soldiers entered France and protected the French loyal palace by fulfilling their responsibilities without a single person running away until the end. True mother is urging us who live with the true parents in the era of the channel group to become the people who like the Swiss soldiers, fulfill our responsibilities to the end and with an indomitable spirit in any environment. Again, we are living together with the true mother in a golden age that will never come again in the face of eternal history. In particular, the second seven years course of the channel Wu is more important than ever. That's why my brother senses really every second, every moment, every hour, every day, we really seriously pay attention to God's will. I think then we don't have any regret and that we can really walk together, our beautiful, our true mother together. So living divine principle, uh, the realm of God's direct dominion, let's study EDP. Realm of direct dominion. What is the realm of God's direct dominion? Human beings abide in the realm of direct dominion when, as subject partners and object partners, they unite in the love of God to form a four-position foundation and become one in heart with God. In this realm, they freely and fully share love and beauty according to the will of the subject partner, thus 
realizing the purpose of goodness. The realm of direct dominion is the realm of perfection. What will the world be like when the natural world abides under the direct dominion of human beings? When a fully mature person relates with the diverse things in nature as his object partners, they come together to form a four-position foundation. People who are in total resonance with God's heart will lead the natural world in the free-flowing sharing of love and beauty, and the entire universe will realize goodness. In such a manner, human beings will exercise direct dominion over all things. Let's learn for this world. The indirect realm, the realm of the bride, and the direct realm, the realm of Adam. During the Second World War, centered on the religious realm of the bride, Christianity went beyond the realm of the indirect dominion to receive the Messiah at the national level and unite the world. This was England, the United States, and France. During the war, these three countries became united and made the indirect realm of the bride and the direct realm of the groom into one by becoming one with the Messiah. And this could be connected to the realm of God's direct dominion to the true parents. By completing the portion of responsibility, as we often say in the Unification Church, you can connect these realms by entering the position of the blessing. This has been the course of the providence until now. Yes, Christianity, the religious realm of the bride, that God prepared for 2,000 years after crucifixion of Jesus. Receiving the Messiah is realized on top of establishing the foundation of faith and foundation of substance, which is God's indirect dominion. If we had become one with the true Father centered on England and United States and France of the Christian uh, sphere, the central nation that won victory in the Second World War, the world would be unified through the seven years course from 1945 to 1952 and could directly enter the realm of Adam, the bridegroom under God's direct dominion. However, because this failed, through father went to Hungnam prison in North Korea and suffer to restore everything through indemnity. If Christianity and the Messiah had become one, all unification would have been simple, already entered the God's direct dominion, not just on the national level, already worldwide level. However, we lost that foundation. In that sense, it is very important to become one with ACLC in America which is represent all Christianity and the religions, you know, to rebuild America. So this is a very important mission. The role of the ACLC is a very important mission. All the religion unite together, centering on ACLC. And then, you know, our ACLC, ACLC need to educate all different religions, let them enter to God's direct dominion. That is the mission of the ACLC. And religion, so far, without receiving blessing, they are still, you know, under the God in direct dominion. And also the realm of the archangel. Next. The necessity for tribal messiahs. The problem now is that true parents are in the realm of God's direct dominion, as well as true parents' family. But the satanic world is still in God's indirect dominion. The way that nations can be connected to God's direct dominion is by carrying out the responsibility of the tribal messiah. This is why tribal messiah activity is absolutely necessary. The purpose of the fulfilling the responsibility of the tribal messiah is to seek the kingdom of God. If all the blessed families fulfill their responsibility, eventually a nation will be liberated from Satan and achieve a channel which can be linked 
to God's direct dominion, that is own world standard. Therefore, you know, to restore the nation and build Chanilgu, a tribal messiah is, uh, messiahship is absolutely necessary. The tribal messiah connects to God's direct sovereignty at the national level. Today's youth ministry, leadership ability, and what the church should focus on. Let's start it. Leadership ability and what the church should focus on. A leader in the era of Chanoguk must have the ability to impress and mobilize the spirit world. Without the power of love to mobilize the spirit world, one cannot do fundamental ministry. To do pastoral ministry in a way that the spiritual world can't help and in a humanistic way is to deviate. Any other way of ministering is deviation. Therefore, you need to know who you are. You need to practice while knowing whether the method you currently use is truly permanent and whether it can be justified by God. Punctures will develop from using a humanistic method for a while. At first, you may think that the popular humanistic method works well, but anything that is not welcomed by the spirit world will not last long. Yeah, this is a very important point. A leader in the era of the Chanilgu must be someone who can move and mobilize the spiritual world. There are limits to human power. Therefore, humans can never win unless they cooperate with the spiritual world. Then the task is how to become the someone with the ability to mobilize the spiritual world. How can we move the spiritual world? This is our job. This is the, we are the one who need to focus on that. If pastors and their members do not focus on mobilizing the spiritual world, humanistic methods and means are certainly limited. You need to understand that this is the essence of the ministry. Our, the, the essence of the ministry is always need to focus on spiritual world. How can we move spiritual world? It means how can we move heaven and then let God and spiritual world come down, no choice, need to help all three people. Then much we need to put a lot of song, you know, to move spiritual world and, and heaven. Therefore, pastors and church members should check whether the current method is really permanent and can be justified by God and put into practice. The humanistic method will get uh, punctured after, uh, 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 after, uh, after a while. Anything that is not welcomed by the spiritual world will not last long. Therefore, pastors and church members should think about which methods are supported by God and the spiritual world. If just using the human method and humanistic way, it does not work at all. That's why this project, this idea, this event, this is motivation, really welcome by spiritual world owner. You need to think about that. Otherwise, just without God, without spiritual world, without helping the ancestors, just the only thing, humanistic idea, it does not work at all. That's why was the main point, was the essence of the ministry. How can I move a spiritual world? How can I move God? And then God and Holy Spirit come down and then really completely support all the world. That is a, should be our ability. You know, CIG leadership is what? Spiritual world mobilization ability. Next. At first, you can gather people through horizontal human relationships and hold an event that can be sparkingly popular. A ministry focused on entertainment, music, or propaganda does not last long. They are like bubbles. So we must go forward focusing on the fundamental. We really need to check whether the things we want to do 
are supported by the spirit world as well. We need to nurture church members that the spirit world can really rely on. A church built on the rock can only be achieved by members who have hope and can nurture them from the spirit world. Otherwise, it is like a church built on sand. If the members of our Unification Church had received specialized education, such as pastoral ministry and member education, and grasped the basics, they would have grown a lot. However, because we were too busy externally with our activities, we all missed the opportunity. Yes. In order to mobilize the spiritual world, the first thing to be careful about is not to conduct service or events centered on people-centered popularity and interest. The second is that although music and praise, are the, are praise, you know, chanyang have a great influence on service, it should not be the main thing. A ministry focus on entertainment and music or, you know, propaganda does not last long. Always focus on essence, where spiritual world and God can cooperate. Always need to think that. Centering on God's point of view, centering on spiritual point of view, centering on heaven point of view, how, you know, let them come down and help us. Then we need to focus on God's interest and spiritual world interest, and we, through which way our entire, you know, Holy Spirit and the uh, ancestor come down help us. If we just only focus what people like, which one is more popular? They love music and focus on music, and they love the entertainment, and we focus on entertainment. It does not work at all. That's why right now you know, many people say, oh, music is important. I know music is very important. Music is creating some certain area, but that is not the main thing, my brothers and sisters. We really need to focus on what God does like, what spiritual world does like, how let them pay more attention to our church, our service, our activities. Always need to think that way. Otherwise, even our unification church it cannot last. We should always check whether the things our members and our church really want to do is supported by the spirit world as well. It must become a church that spiritual world can truly rely on. And we need to nurture such members. Only members who have hope and can nurture them in spiritual world can build a church on the rock. Otherwise, it is like a church built on sand. Very important point. Next. You also see that there are many people who missed the opportunity. There would be many regrets looking back. One regrets thinking, if I had known about this, I should have done it that way. It would have been nice if we had studied hard on at least the principle but we couldn't do that. In order to become a leader in the Unification Church and be a good witnesser, you must know the principle well. You must read the principle enough to memorize it. When a new guest arrives, you need to make sure you can occupy a place in his heart. Once any guest comes to me, I must have the ability to teach and lecture so that I can undoubtedly refine them and make them members. Otherwise, if the focus of ministry is centered on the helpless, elderly, or weak people, you will not be able to show your abilities. This is not saying to ignore the elderly. It's about where to focus. Yes. In order to become a unification church leader and good and witnessing, you need to know that principle very well. That's why I now keep on emphasizing for you to read one hour EDP, 100 times, 30 hours, 30 times, and 12 hour EDP, 21 times. I'm over and over emphasizing because without knowing the truth, without uh, stimulating by God's word, we can't do anything. You need to read the divine principle over and over and again and again, and then the word become your life. 
That's why you need to read the principle enough to memorize it. When a new guest arrives, you need to make sure you can occupy a place in his heart. That's why our preparation is important. And read and read and again and meditate. You know, what does it, uh, this God's word mean? You need to have a kind of the commitment, a lot of preparation. And then when you meet the guest and then let God talk, already your 정성 is enough, your preparation already enough. Then when you meet the guest, let God use my mouth. I need to become God's instrument. That time, completely deny yourself. Let God talk. But before the meeting the guest, I need to have a preparation. Need to read the divine principle and need to meditate the divine principle a lot. And then once you meet your guest and completely forget your own self, deny yourself, let God talk. Then so many miracles can be happening. We must have the ability to teach and lecture any guests so that we can make them members. Then how can we mobilize the spiritual world? First, we need to offer prayer and jongsong so that the spiritual world, can, uh, spiritual world and God cannot help but feel sympathy and be moved. So how we can mobilize spiritual world? Really, your chunks are really reach a certain standard. And then even God doesn't have any choice. Even spiritual world doesn't have any choice. I need to help this guy. I need to help this church. I need to help this nation. Because entire American membership really doing morning devotion, everybody reading EDP condition, everybody try to witness the three spiritual children. If we have that kind of the entire, that kind of the spirit and chongsong, spiritual world and God doesn't have any choice you need to come down and help us. Only the power of chongsong can move the spiritual world, my brothers and sisters. In the end, even True Father talking about on most sincerity moves heaven, the spiritual world. That's why even though I cannot guide properly every morning devotion, but we are really come together, we are offering our Jong Song together as brothers and sisters, you know, with this kind of almost sincerity, finally moves heaven. That's why we are doing national level Jong Song condition is very important. If we do national level Jong Song condition, we can move our entire nation. Without the foundation of Jongsong and prayer, it is very difficult to create a foundation for spirit world to work. That's why the American church has offered early morning Jongsong devotion every day, already more than 600 days, my brothers and sisters. Not easy to attend the morning devotion every day without missing single day, right? I don't know, many of them already give up. Many of them are already, how to say, you know, not much interested. I do not know, but some of them also are more and more stimulated. Important thing is, does not matter. Many people give up on the way, but keep God with your utmost sincerity. Then someday, substantial result surely will appear. Jongsong means without missing even single day constantly you are doing. Then God really moved. Once God touched by our heart and chongs up, then spiritual world does everything. Second, focus on the salvation of the spirit, which is the greatest concern of God and spiritual world. That is witnessing. If the church members and pastors strive uh, hard to save the, even one spirit, the spiritual world will surely help. In order to witness a new spirit, you need to become a person crazy about the principle and the God's word. That's why our American church continues to emphasize reading one hour EDP lecture manual 100 times. Only the word of the principle can save a spirit. There is no other way. Third, Treat the new guests like a king and like a god. 
think that restoring, restoring them is the more joyful than restoring one nation. We need to create a heaven where newly joined members can meet and show the living God. So now I'm really exciting. Our Clifton Church members, they and I really working very hard and witnessing. Not only that, I, I, I can feel that entire American nation. So now we are next month, we are going to have another new membership welcoming ceremony. So now we are almost you know, ready, almost 12 people, uh, you know, new guests. So now we are really now exciting to really uh, increasing the new membership. <clears throat> So my brothers and sisters, God's greatest concern is what? Salvation. Salvation. That's why we need to have the same focal point. God's focal point is salvation, and our focal point should be salvation, which is witnessing. Everybody pay attention for salvation, which is witnessing. I think uh, as long as uh, the same heart and mindset and unity, centering on salvation, surely spiritual world and entire our ancestors spirit come down and help us. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters. And then our MC going to introduce about someone who going to give the living testimony. Thank you very much. Very powerful, impactful message. I, uh, this is really steering our communities around the country very well. Thank you so much. Hmm. And for our living testimony, I'm not sure if you are here, but uh, we are, uh, we have Mio Horiwaki from Subregion 3 on, uh, on the agenda, but are you here? Is it possible to have you shared today? Maybe not. Okay. Well, that is, Dr. Young, hope that's okay. We're not sure how to reach them. So, so we'll... Today, no, today, no testimony? Uh, we were not able to make, make contact with mm. one. Okay, then go ahead next to the mm. program. All right, then brothers and sisters, let's now go into our breakouts and share our reflections on today's message from Dr. Young. We'll come back in a few minutes.
brothers and sisters. I hope you enjoyed your breakout. To share first, I'd like to invite up Mrs. Elena Bahian. Good morning. Good morning. Finally, Milhan caught me. Gotcha. <laughs> I was trying to, to, you know, to skip uh, from being called to this uh, <laughs> sharing publicly. But uh, I just would like to share, I shared in the breakout room regarding the taking ownership or the mastery of the divine principle because wherever we go, we can always use them to share it to other people and um, uh, really make it as a habit wherever we go. So I, I told Mel, Milhan that when I joined the unification movement, I was searching so much. So when I received it, I was just lectured for three hours and I took ownership of it because of my searching and I found it as this is it. This is the one that I'm looking for. So I, after I was, I received the lecture, I studied also, I was given a book, a, a very thick book and um, I, I read it. And uh, my co-teachers are, are actually asking me, what are you reading? And I said, oh, this is something uh, some, something new, uh, teaching. But they were thinking that I have another God that I am serving. And I said, no, this is not another God. <laughs> this is just another teaching that is very powerful. So uh, to make it short, I read it all the way to the end. But at the end, it says like, um, if you believe in this, if you think this is right, then go stand up and give three cheers. And I don't know how to give the three cheers. So what did I say is just, I said, yes, yes, yes. That's what I did. And then I received a lot of blessings after that. But then I took ownership of the, the teaching. So wherever I go, whoever I am standing with, I cannot close my mouth but to share it to the to the person, you know? And I, I, I shared to Milhan that even, uh, well, uh, in our school, we have we have the mass every, every week. So while the priest is preaching to the people, I was at the back also interpreting the message of the priest to my co-teacher. And then to the point that I'm shaking, I was shaking every time I, I, I shared the divine principle to, to whoever I'm, I am, uh, uh, talking to. So I said, and my, my co-teacher said, oh my God, you have a very high spirit. Look at you. You are shaking. I, said, I know, but I keep, I, the whole body is shaking, but I keep, I keep telling, I keep telling until the end that even though I was, I was told like, you know, that, that is deceiving. You know, they, they said that the principle is deceiving. I said, no, this is not deceiving. This is the truth, but it doesn't matter. As long as I open my mouth, even here, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I also shared Milan that I am cooking, you know, I'm cooking, but in my cooking, I put holy wine on it. <laughs> and then, so at least when I, when they eat the food that I am cooking, <laughs> I, I can already build the foundation that they have to taste already the holy wine so that when I approach them, they are ready and I can, I can talk about the divine principle so much in them. I have to tell the principle from beginning until the proclamation of true parents at the end. That's it. So I, I, I have to bless them and then wow. come back. Even though, even though they are not yet uh, like uh, uh, believing in true parents, but I won't hesitate to tell them that true parents is the, the second coming of Jesus because they have another understanding of who true parents are. And I said, this is my time to tell, to tell them. So even wherever I go, even until this time, I don't, right. I won't hesitate. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Elena Bayan. Boy, you are such a passion. Wow. Great. <laughs> wherever you go, testifying true parents and try to witness. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Bayan. On me today, huh? Maybe pretty good. Thank you. 
Uh, to share next, I'd like to invite up Rebecca Kalix to share. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> oh, Rebecca! Good morning, Dr. Young. Oh, I thought you, our MC, come back. <laughs> it's nice to be with everyone this morning. Uh -huh. um, in my breakout room, I was with um, Uncle Sunny Ebok, and we were just talking about um, how he joined the church in 91 and how he was able to attend all these workshops and how he just loved the community and loved the energy that he felt with the members of the church. And it reminded me of my parents um, and how when they joined, so my, my parents are actually a previously married couple um, and my dad was witnessed by my uncle. It's a very complicated story, um, but my three uncles kind of all joined together um, and my dad was attending all these workshops and my mom was at home with my two older siblings and it, he was attending all these workshops because he wanted to make sure that this was the truth before he brought it to my mom. Mm -hmm. And he was going so often that my mom was like, what are you doing? We have two kids at home. I don't know where you're going. Um, like, what's going on? And then my dad goes, okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. And then he started saying that he was going to these workshops. <laughs> and my mom goes, I don't want to hear anymore until Jesus himself tells me that this is the truth. Uh -huh. I'm not listening to any of this. <laughs> <laughs> and then that night, she had a dream and Jesus said, this is the truth. <laughs> this is her husband. <laughs> and she said she woke up and like slapped my dad and goes, we're going to these workshops. Oh. Jesus just told me this is the truth. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> um, and then they attended the workshops together at Pasadena House and um then they joined with my uncle and then they got blessed together so it was my uncle Rolando my uncle Ted Forbath and um, my dad and they all got blessed together in August of 92 so they still remain wow. a strong trinity today wow. um and my three older siblings are Jacob's children and then me and my brother Jacob and William were blessed children so it's like half and half um, yeah, so that it just reminded me of that story. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that Vivekan spiritual world really does exist. That's why we are so serious. Spiritual world definitely will give answer. Why spiritual world no response? Why our ancestors no response? My seriousness is not enough. My seriousness is really, 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 really serious then spiritual can help us. Like, like your mother, like a desperate, you know. You know then she just appeared and then directly talk to her dream. You see, you know, how can we really have that kind of desperation spirit? How can we move God and heaven? That's the key to mobilize spiritual world. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Beautiful testimony. I'm Thank sorry. you, Dr. Young. Thank you. <clears throat> wow, my goodness. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. We got we lost one living testimony, but then we got two instead. All right. Thank you so much. Let's do some reminders. Number one, please invite someone to Morning Heart Devotion. I think they, don't you think everyone should be hearing these testimonies live? And uh, if you want to watch all the old ones, you can go on edu.familyfed.org. Everything's there, including the transcripts. And three, joyfully give from your heart. Look at the link in the chat and online and ask God how much you'd like to give today. For our musical offering, I'm very happy to welcome up here, Mr. Christopher Bush. Good morning, everybody. And good morning, uh, good morning Dr. Young. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Bush. Uh, this song expresses the heart of witnessing, uh, laying our lives down for others, building bridges, comforting hearts and easing minds. So please enjoy. Good morning, everybody. This is a song written by Paul Simon, performed by Simon and Garfunkel. I kind of identify myself as more of a Garfunkel type, and this is a song that he's actually the one that sings lead instead of the harmony. Please enjoy. 
Thank you. Heavenly Bush. Thank you so much, Uncle Chris. 
And uh, a quick plug for Camp Shahakwa that's taking place uh, this summer. You put a link in the chat for the registration, but it's shahakwafamily.org if you want to check that out. To have more, if you want more song and more chance for you and your children to play together, check that out. And with that, brothers and sisters, I'd like to close us out with prayer by inviting Reverend Francis Marsal. Pray for us to close, please. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. Let's bow our head. Oh, our dear Heavenly Parent, how, how grateful we are that we can live, breathe, and really attend you and attend our beloved true parents. And as brothers and sisters, we can truly, truly, really make your dream come true. That we can really wash away all the pain, all your pain and all your anguish. And we can really build the heavenly kingdom. So you are calling us and you are guiding us and leading us through uh, our brothers and sisters, through Dr. Young and all our leadership. And uh, we are so grateful that we can really receive so much every day, starting very early in the morning for morning devotion and all our activities during the day, all our investments, everything that we can do that can truly, truly, really set the condition for total salvation. We pray, Heavenly Pant, as we are going through every day and as we are receiving uh, every day so much, we pray that we can really give the best every day. Then our heart can grow, our heart can really mature, our heart can really perfect our, our true self so we can truly, truly move. And people can feel it. They can truly see the quality of our love, the quality of our families, and that can truly, truly inspire the world. We know the world needs not just love, they really need to see the quality of our true love that comes from you, Heavenly Parent. Yes. So we're grateful. We're so grateful that we can really live, breathe, and we can really be educated by you every day. Mm -hmm. And we know we have the divine principle. We have, we have true parents. What else do we need, Heavenly Parent? So we're so grateful. And we pray that you can truly guide each one of us as we begin this day and as we offer this day and we know that through that you can walk through us there's no there's no doubt heavenly god thank you for everything thank you for our brothers and sisters thank you for the message today and everyone who contribute who doing their part thank you heavenly parent and we pray this in all our names and my name francis and marina Mosso, bless and to family archer Ajo, thank you, Francis, for your powerful prayer. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Reverend Francis, uh, we miss you so much. Thank you for all that you do for GPA. And with that, brothers and sisters, thank you for joining and making this such a joyful experience. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow. Okay, have a nice day.